For more on the multi-trillion dollar spending bill, let's bring in Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis, who serves on the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure, as well as the Foreign Affairs Committee. Now, uh, you represent part of New York City. I imagine you would like to see some infrastructure built in this crumbling city. Absolutely. Look, we, we, there's no doubt that we need infrastructure investment for our subways, for our roads, for our bridges, and for sewer infrastructure, partly because Mayor de Blasio has chosen to neglect those things during his time in office. And uh, many people are concerned about Nancy Pelosi trying to tie actual infrastructure, which people expect the government to provide, and tie it with either this amnesty, $100 billion in spending to uh, provide amnesty for tens of millions of illegal immigrants, uh, or this socialist wish list that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and the squad have put together. You are seeing moderate Democrats come out against it, but will they stand strong? Because what we're seeing is that they repeatedly cave to Pelosi and the squad. And I will say that, you know, when President Biden says this is not going to result in taxes for people un earning under 400000 I don't buy it. And the American people shouldn't buy it. Because all we're seeing time and again is increased cost in goods, things like food, gasoline, inflation has skyrocket, is, is starting to skyrocket, at, as you're seeing at the pump or at the supermarket. And inflation is taxation. So whether it's direct or indirect, uh, it's going to affect the everyday American taxpayer. Well, AOC, if you read her address, says you can uh, handle all this by taxing the rich. What's your response? Yeah, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is the biggest hypocrite, and socialists are hypocrites, because they say tax the rich, but then they're the ones who end up living like kings and queens, as you would see in Venezuela, as you see in Cuba. The reality is, is that, you know, she enjoys the luxuries of going to a Met Gala, a $30,000 ticket. She enjoys, you know, driving around in her new car. She enjoys her iPhone and the, and the fruits of capitalism, including the $10,000 dress she wore. Uh, but at the end of the day, she wants to go after those innovators and those people who create jobs, who create uh, corporations that hire people and provide uh, opportunity. And that's what socialism is, trying to destroy all that so everyone is dependent on the government. Pretty stunning numbers uh, from the border. Um, 1.2 million border crossings in the fiscal year just ending. That's like admitting a, a city the size almost of Dallas, Texas, into this country. Yeah. What's your take on what the administration is or isn't doing about all of this? This would be a good day for the president and the vice president to go to the border. But instead, the president is at the beach and, and the vice president is flipping a coin at a football game. Meanwhile, uh, the population of those who have come over the border illegally this year have surpassed their home state of Delaware and home city of San Francisco. And so it is completely outrageous. And at the end of the day, people want border security. We need to know who's coming in and out, out of our country, particularly after what has occurred in Afghanistan. And I can tell you, as a daughter of immigrants and somebody who has helped 29 people uh, from 12 different countries in just a few months that I've been in office become citizens, they did it the right way. And they respected our laws, they respect our borders, and they want to be um, citizens, but they're doing it the right way. This is wrong, and this is a slap in the face to those individuals who are waiting in line to come into this country and be productive uh, parts of our society. Republican Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis of New York, thank you. Thank you.